mark a question which is case based is confirmed highest marks is of biology what are those topics which are most important what is this diagram of what type of questions can come from this chapter next topic which we are moving towards which is very important and at the same time my favorite have you ever wondered how some students nail their biology exam and you are also aiming to achieve that 100% marks in your biology board class 10th exam then this video is for you hi my dear students my name is asa suryavanshi and i am here to discuss the most important topics from biology class 10th board exam let's have a look at it whenever we have a look at the question paper definitely there are some topics which are favorite of the examiner right which examiner continuously put in the exam paper year after year and we cannot miss those question because obviously we have to answer our paper like a pro let's have a look into it the very first thing we have to know like what is the weightage of our biology if we look into the science exam it consists of 80 marks right the whole science exam is of 80 marks out of that highest marks is of biology right which is 30 marks physics and chemistry is individually 25 marks but the highest weightage goes to biology which is 30 marks so the at the highest pedestal we have biology but in this 30 marks what are those topics which are most important let's know about that so as to skyrocket your marks we're going to look into it chapter wise chapter and the very first chapter which we have which is also the backbone of your biology exam that chapter is none other than life processes the very first chapter life processes what are the topics which are important now when i said backbone there must be a question coming in your mind then why are you saying the backbone so let me tell you this individual chapter consist of 8 to 10 marks yes a whooping 8 to 10 marks individually so what are the topics which we cannot miss from this chapter the very first thing difference between autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition second topic is photosynthesis in the previous years many questions many types of questions has come from this topic photosynthesis like they can ask you to define photosynthesis they can ask you to write down the equation of photosynthesis or simply they can ask you to write down the events of photosynthesis so obviously and clearly you cannot miss on this topic that is photosynthesis next topic is actually in front of your screen what is this diagram of quickly tell me yes very good this is of human respiratory system you cannot miss on this because the question comes on either you can draw the diagram right either the examiner is going to ask you to draw the diagram or maybe label it for example instead of larynx they can give you x instead of trachea they can give you y right and they can ask you what is the syllable part x what is the syllable part y write down the functions of each right so different types of questions can come from this individual topic next topic which we are moving towards which is very important and at the same time my favorite that is human heart various types of question may be about the different chambers may be about the flow of the blood within the heart may be about the double circulation very very important various questions can be constructed from this individual topic and i'm not saying only one mark question can come a two mark a three mark a four mark a question can also come from these diagrams right depending on the complexity the marks may vary right let's move to other topics from this chapter one more topic which i would like to tell you which you cannot miss is human excretory system right about the kidney urinary bladder you cannot miss that topic also let's have a recap of all the topics which i said is important from this chapter autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition photosynthesis 
human respiratory system human heart and lastly human excretory system right we have to remember this we have to keep it in our fist we have to buy hard these things let's move ahead by the way do you know that there are 60% student who score high marks in their biology exam just by understanding the diagrams from this chapter so clearly the visual learning is what the win we cannot miss on these beautiful diagrams the next chapter is control and coordination which is of like 5 to 6 marks what are the important topics from this chapter i would like to tell you one very important topic which is of neuron the diagram and the different parts of a neuron and one very 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 important topic which is the different types of endocrine glands in a human body not only different types of gland but also their functions right in the board exams they can give you either the diagram and they can ask you what is this label part x what is this label part y write down their functions so you cannot miss on this different types of glands and obviously their functions one very important topic which is shown here what is this diagram of yes yes it is of phototropic movement not only the phototropic movement but all the tropic movements are very very important for this chapter right baby the phototropic movement or geotropic movement what type of questions can come from this chapter either a mcq they can give you a b c d and they can show you different type of tropic movement and they're going to ask you which one is correct right which one is showing the correct phototropic or maybe geotropic movement or another question is they can ask you how this movement happened right you have to write about the mechanism right so the three topics from this chapter the very first neuron second the endocrine glands and their function and the last third is your tropic movements we cannot miss on this and i hope you all are writing because you also need to remember that yes these topics we cannot miss next chapter is how do organism reproduce consist of again 6 to 7 marks right what are the important topics from this chapter the very first is the male and female reproductive system again they can ask you to draw it label it right we have to write down the functions two more topics i would like to tell you from this particular chapter is one is sexual reproduction in flowering plants sexual reproduction in flowering plants we cannot miss on this topic as well as contraceptive methods as well as contraceptive methods right we cannot afford to miss these topics remember guys remember right first thing i told you the male and female reproductive system secondly i told you the sexual reproduction in flowering plants and the last is the different types of contraceptive methods these three topics are obviously help you to back those extra marks from this chapter let's move ahead okay heredity and evolution consist of 5 to 6 marks when i talk about heredity and evolution there is a four marker question which is case based is confirmed it's gonna come in your exams because if you see the pattern if you see the previous year question papers a four marker case based question is fixed it definitely comes it always comes in your exams and what is the topic for that four marker question i'm telling you the topic also it's like so easy we have to just focus on it and our four marks is confirmed what is that topic the topic is my dear students mendel mono hybrid and di hybrid cross right definitely just write it down mono hybrid and di hybrid question a four marker case based question is confirmed very very important topic now i'll be like ma'am what about that extra one or two marks from the chapter yes what about that we can focus on sexual determination in humans how the sex is determined in humans we can focus on that so let me write that for you as well sex determination in humans
right so basically two very important topics right you're just learning two topics and you are scoring five to six marks isn't that amazing i feel it's great right that is the mendel monohybrid and dihybrid cross and also the sex domination in humans now students we are moving to our last chapter but obviously not our least that is our environment now i say this is like a marks catching subject why i am saying a marks catching subject biology because you have to learn this much and you're going to for amazing marks you just have to focus on those important topics about this last chapter our environment this is consisting of 5 to 6 marks this is such a small chapter such a small chapter and directly giving you 5 to 6 marks wow i think we can actually nail our paper from this chapter i am saying that because there are very few topics which you have to keep your mind at that is the energy flow in and food chain how the energy is flowing in a food chain from trophic level 1 to 3 or maybe four different types of question can come from the energy flow the food web and also two more topics from this chapter that is the two types of the substances that is the biodegradable and non biodegradable substances just understand this topic by difference between them and it's good to go and also the last topic from this chapter is going to be non biodegradable substances getting accumulated in a food chain yes i am talking about biological magnification so the four topics from this particular chapter energy flow in an ecosystem we're going to talk about the food web then obviously biological magnification and biodegradable and non biodegradable substances with that we have almost come to an end but before we say bye to each other i would like to like to give you a pro tip to you all what is that pro tip diagrams are your best friend you cannot miss out on any diagram right if you want to score that 100% marks you have to practice clear and well labeled diagram so obviously practice those sketches you cannot miss them If you have any questions any query coming in your mind you can write it down and let me know if i can help you with anything That's it everyone with this we come to an end if you have any queries you can obviously let us know and obviously practice these most important topics so as to score 100% marks in your biology exams until then keep learning and stay awesome which you obviously you already are